Welcome back to episode 29 of Fallout 4. It's only been a few minutes since episode 28. Had to go do something really quick and I didn't want to stop the video. Remember the last time I had clean fingernails? Well, that's okay. Um, <laughs> Alright, we're going to go and do some stuff today. Uh, or, well, again. Uh, we are going to speak to Father, but... We're going to talk to Preston first. I and, he's... and I don't say that lightly. I took care of the raiders that were harassing that settlement you sent me to. The people there have decided to join our cause. That's great news. One day, we'll be strong enough to drive that scum out of the Commonwealth for good. As usual, I've got something else for you. To to. Maybe you can find out where those bastards are coming from. It's going to stop you. Okay, Preston, I will find out where those bastards are coming from and put a stop to it. And where is it at this time? Okay. Alright. Everybody knows who's ever seen me play this game. How much I like the slog. It's one of my... God, there's 18 people there. Well, you know what? We're going to break her at banks. Um, and I'm going to take a shot in the dark that these are the super mutants that they want me to kill. I don't know for sure, but I'm going to kill them anyway. And then we'll go talk to the slog after that. We'll make our way to over to uh, Good Neighbor. Um... Got some frag mines and a wait. Let's see if we can draw them out here. I don't. Hey, Snick. Ooh, he's a beefy one, isn't he? Alright, let's take him out. Yeah. Somebody's got a fiery something or other. Alright, we need to get closer. Nick, did you take out that overload? No, he's still here. Sorry about that, people. Let's go take out the overlord. Here, chew on, chew on that. Oh, the, uh, the laser, the, uh, laser minigun that Nick has is part of a mod. Okay. Alright, Nick, we're gonna go back over to the slot now. And we'll see if this is the mutants in question. Otherwise... We'll go
All right, let's go see. Hey there, friend. We're in some real trouble. Maybe you can help. Uh. I'm with the Minutemen. How can I help? It's these damn Greenskins, the Super Mutants. Whenever they come through, we well, just I guess it wasn't die. break our bank. Everything they can eat and destroy most everything else. Right, the quest would have been over by now. By surprise. We'd all be dead. Actually, you wouldn't. We can't live like this. Please, you've got to help us. Is it Faneuil Hall? I'll take care of those super mutants. I promise. I hope so. We didn't know what to do. The best tarberries in the Commonwealth. Uh, I just killed them. I, I, I knew you would help us. See. All right. I thought I killed them all. Oh, you know what? I think I left the two that are over the over the back part. Those two must still be left alive. Okay, we'll go back and kill those two if you can. It's all good. I think we. Oh. Hey. I'm all ears. It's on your mind, Nick. Hey, Valentine. You got time to talk now? Of course, Nick. Uh, well, I know your thoughts. What's wrong? Wrong? Oh no, nothing's wrong. We've just been traveling a while now, and I figure there hasn't exactly been equitable distribution of information. I've gotten a decent glimpse into your dirty laundry, but you still don't really know a whole heck of a lot about me. I figure that offer to balance the board. So, is there anything you want to know? Uh. What do you remember about the Institute? It's all pretty hazy from back then, but now and then I get glimpses. Life inside the Institute, <laughs> they keep you isolated. A single test chamber was my whole world for years, and someone was always watching. Then one day, you wake up on the other side, and that's it. They've cut you loose. Welcome to the brave new world. Such people in it. What's with the outfit? After I started the agency, it just seemed like the sort of thing a detective ought to wear. I got some old memories, pre-war. Faded to all heck, guys dressed like this, doing what I do. Putting on the hat and trench coat, I figured it let folks know I was serious about the whole thing. Clothes make... Trying to talk like Humphrey Bogart, too. I felt they made me the man I wanted to be. So... Who are you, Nick? That's a question I've been trying to figure out myself for a long damn time. I know I'm a synth, authentic institute handiwork, but I'm still mechanical, not bioengineered like the fancy synths giving everyone the willies these days. I get tune-ups now instead of checkups. My memories, my personality, they're all lifted from some cop who volunteered for an experiment back before the war. They scanned his brain and copied it onto the hardware that runs between my ears. Don't know why they chose to make a robot based on some pre-war cop instead of a math genius or a bioengineer. Actually, it seems like a good idea. Maybe that's why the Institute tossed me in the garbage instead of turning me into one of their people snatchers. Wait, the original Nick was from my time? Sure was. Which meant when I finally ended up out here, it was quite the rude awakening. I remember waking up one It's day also why we get along, too, in the game. I don't mean me, I mean my character. Had been dead for 200 years. Suffice to say, it was a confusing couple of weeks. Folks didn't really know much about synths back then, so when I finally ran into people, they mostly treated me with caution rather than hostility. But the kids, <laughs> they weren't afraid. I think his name was Jim. The first person to actually speak to me after I got the boot from the Institute. My first human contact in this world. Grilled me for an hour. <laughs> Once they'd seen I wasn't going to hurt anyone, the other folks in the neighborhood came out to ogle the mechanical man. It eventually turned into a pretty swell soiree. 
A local mechanic even gave me a once-over, free of charge. Those people, they, they treated me like a human being. I've been trying to return the favor ever since. It's a surprisingly rare trait out here sometimes. And it's something I've noticed you got a fondness for. Part of the reason I've stuck around this long. If you're good to people, they'll be good back. That's something I've always believed. Couldn't agree more. Well, I expect you're about as bored as can be listening to me rattle my skeletons. We should probably head out. Now we got a couple of meats to kill, Nick. Let's go do it. Uh... Okay. What is it? What is it showing? Oh, did it now click over to... Kill the meat system? Yeah. Oh, it's over here. Now it's daylight. I don't remember. You know what? Let's take this corn. Oh. Oops. Let's, let's harvest this corn too. Really? Come on, here we go. It makes you wonder who would choose this sort of a life. Oh, I... All right, why can't I go through there? All right, it's really... The, the PS5 controller is really touchy. gonna be tossing a lot your way here in a minute, Nick. Uh, there should be... What's that red? Oh, it's green here. Okay, let's do three chests. Alright, we should have... A couple more radiates over here. Um... to get to. Actually, let's take these melons. Uh, I thought mutants would be great. It's part of him. Oh, uh, he just had a board. Uh, I'm sorry, buddy. Alright. Oh. I've always wondered what this is. It's a fixed point. Uh, it's an Easter egg of some kind. I don't remember off the top of my head exactly what the Easter egg is. There's so many of them in this game. I just too many to even count. to Good Neighbor and 
I need to. I wish I had a better outfit. Um. What is he in the pool? No, he's over here. Thanks for agreeing to help. Oh, absolutely. They're gonna have a hell of a time swimming in there with all that foliage. Wow, ain't you a walker? Those super mutants won't be bothering you again. I guess you were the right person for the job, huh? Thanks, friend. You're welcome. All right, let's go to. Uh, let's stop. Let's stop in Sanctuary. Actually, let's put this back. Two and. Um, let's go to. Or we actually no, we can actually do this in good neighbor. Um, we can sell stuff in good neighbor before we before we hunt down Imogene. I'm carrying way too much crap right now. I got two level ups to use too. Probably gonna hold them as I think my next right. level up is Head forty-nine. Head over to the third rail. Lowest place in the Commonwealth. Well, that's the plan. Everything not nailed down rolls through here at some point. Yeah. Oh, new face walks into my store. And you're not even screaming yet. Very polite. You let me know if anything catches your fancy. Um. Got any work? I do, actually. Super mutants have taken over the old Boston Public Library. I got a lot of fond memories of that place from when I was a girl and human. You get those lumbering brutes out of there, I'll pay you 200 caps. You got a deal, Daisy. Thanks. Hey, while you're there, could you return this book for me? It's from the library. Don't even ask how long it's been overdue. Sure, why not? We will do that. Probably not today. Uh, or maybe today. Uh, don't have no handouts. So I don't need a handout, dude. I've got a weapon here for every situation. Hunting, protection, cold-blooded murder, hot-blooded murder. Oh, I like Cleo. Let's see what you have. Let's get you outfitted, killer. I like Cleo. Okay, let's... Uh, let's give you that. Uh... Both of those. That's a decent assault rifle. But I don't need it. Um, uh, Mari at 501. Um, Uh. Okay. Uh, I don't have any EMCs. I'll buy some EMCs from her if she has them. Um. Um. Keep that, keep that, keep that. Yeah, this stupid COVID sweater vest or hat.
What the? Wait a minute. Uh, okay, we need to start over. Um, uh, okay. Something in apparel. Oh, it's the sunglasses. Okay, what? Oh, oh. That's why. Okay. All right, reset. Uh, yeah, don't sell the sunglasses. Um, I didn't even know I even had those. Let's go to all the hat hats. Keep the sunglasses. Okay. Okay, we took care of apparel. Let's sell some aid. Don't need the buff out. Don't need the jet. Or the Mad Axe. Okay, we gotta buy some stuff from her now. Do you have any weapons? Any legendary weapons? We'll take her three Molotovs. Uh, he has the party starter, which is just basically a... It, yeah, it's not worth it. Um, he has Devastator. Again, not worth it. Um, I will take those. And that will be do it. Now, let me see how these sunglasses look. Um... I didn't even know I had them. Alright, let's go to... We'll go here, do the Imogene quest. What's up, Pam? 
Hancock says newcomers are welcome in the third rail. Go on in. Like, can you even stop me? We could get McCready too. Um, over here, but we're all a little strange in what? Let's make sure um, it is. Another one of you mercs looking for McCready? He's in the back room. Have you got God, I love this song. Sweet pit boy, sister. You hold on to that. Did you come in just for the yeah, business? Yeah. Well, let's go talk to McCready. Oh, no, actually, let's not. Not yet. Talk to Charlie. Boy, go beer. You ain't buying beer. You ain't buying. Do you know Emma Jean Cabot? Name rings a bell. Kind of balmy. Haven't seen her in a while, though. Try Magnolia. She likes to make friends with people. She might know more about this missing bird. Magnolia! Gal wants a word! Hmm? Well, what's the matter, sweetheart? Don't tell me you didn't like the song. I love the song. It was perfect. Ah, there ain't nothing like real jazz. Oh, well, thank you. A girl tries her best. <laughs> now, there's something special about you, isn't there? Don't... Oh, well, I'm 260-some years hmm. old. I think I know a fellow performer when I see one. You're good mm. with your words. Know just the right thing to say at the right time. So what brings a woman like you to my part of town? Well, I could say, what do you think? But I'm going to say the music. I came here for the music. <laughs> Flatterer. Yeah, that's me. Flatterer. So it's my turn to answer questions, right? What can I do for you? Yeah, we... Oh, let's flirt. I was wondering if we could get to know each other better. Oh, really? Go on. Um... You, me, an evening walk under the streetlights. And then what? Let's do it. Music. Hmm, I knew you were something special, all right. Let me get my coat. Um. Uh, let's do this. Do you know Emma Jean Cabot? Emma Jean? Sure, I know her. I haven't seen her in a while, though. Were you a friend of hers? She's missing, and her family's worried about her. Oh, well, I'm glad somebody's looking out for her. She seemed like a body that could use looking after. Um. I just need to know where she is. There was this preacher fellow who used to come in here all the time. One of the slick ones. Always going on about remaking your life and so on. Most of the customers wouldn't give him the time of day, but Eugene, she latched on to him for some reason. I don't suppose it hurt that he was easy on the eyes. Mmm, intense. Some women find that irresistible. Pam, would you come over here a minute? Is there a problem, Miss Magnolia? No. This lady here was just looking for Emma Jean. Do you happen to know where that uh, preacher fella came from? Hmm. Brother Thomas? Yes. That's right. The one Emma Jean was always hanging on. Had to throw him out. Wouldn't stop bothering customers with that salvation racket. Kept going on and on about joining him at the back bay. Then he'd shove those stupid flyers in your face. Here. I kept one of them. Just in case he didn't pay his bar tab. Hmm. Well, thanks, honey. You were a big help. Anything for you, miss. I hope Evan Jean's all right. 
I didn't much like the idea of her going off with that preacher fellow. Did I ruin the chance to sleep with... Um, oh, let's go do Imogene and come back. Oh, I guess I can't do that from here. Uh, we'll come back and talk Smell to McCree, that? too. That's freedom. Yep, thanks to me, you're all free. Um, alright, let's get out of here. Oh my god, what's so herky-jerky? Oh, let's not... Okay. Enjoy your stay. Thanks, Sam. Well, let's go over to the back bay and get Imogene out, and then we'll go back here and do Magnolia. See if we can still talk to Magnolia. Uh, let's see, we're going to go to, I think I've been by there, no I haven't, uh, pretty close to hallucinogen, let's take a little trip over there, and see what we can do. Gotta go cook here in a little bit, um, oh, pardon me. Cooking fajitas for the first time. Jeez, I hope I don't kill myself. Eh. I guess the thing about cooking is you kind of you kind of just got to go in there and do it. I mean, you could follow a recipe, but you just till you do it. You never know you can do it until you do it. Yeah, I know, kind of poppycock, but it works. All right. What? What? Can I kill you? Yeah, they're dead. Okay, come on. This way, Nate. Here's where these morons are. Let's go talk to this idiot. You should talk to Brother Thomas about how to join our movement. Well, I hope you decide to change your life today. We're always hey looking for new members. We're always looking for new members. Okay. Get out of my way. <clears throat> Welcome, neighbor. We're always glad to see a new face around here. Tell me something. You ever feel like this whole world is broken? Do you ever wonder why things can't be the way they were in the good old days? Racket. I'm just looking for Emogene Cabot. Oh, I'm sorry, but Emogene is indisposed right now. She's not seeing visitors. Mm -hmm. Her family's worried about her. You can tell them that she's fine. Not that it's any of your business, but she and I are just having a little relationship trouble. You know how it is. <laughs> She's not seeing anybody until she cools off. Um, there. You're not holding her prisoner, are you? No, she's not a prisoner. She's just locked in a room. Hey, okay, hold up. Run off. Excuse me, I'm being shot here. You were smarter than that. Okay. No, I don't. What? Nick, where are they? All 
Alright. Alright, let's talk to him again. Not sure hey. we want to see I haven't forgotten that you wanted to find out what our group now. is all about. We call ourselves the Pillars of the Community. We're a pretty new movement, so you may not well. have heard of us. But we're growing fast all across the Blah, blah, blah. You sound like a Republican. This exciting future. Step right this way and I'll be happy to tell you all about our movement and how you can be a part of it. I'm just looking for Imogene Cabot. I already told you, Imogene can't have any visitors right now. Um. Uh, not offering him caps. Uh, um, uh, we'll just take this. I'm a friend route. of the family. Maybe I can talk some sense into her. Few words with the lady, and we'll be out of your hair. Look, the truth is, we had a little uh disagreement about her joining the movement. She got kind of violent, so I locked her in there until I could figure out what to do with her. If you're willing to take her off my hands. Let me unlock the door for you, and then she's all yours. Yeah, it, it would be better than killing you. Way stronger you than she to looks. Become one of the pillars it of took the all of us combined to even get her locked up in there. Yeah, she's not starring me. Ooh, she's 400 years old. All right. Well, we had the Brotherhood attack. That more of those are going to probably be coming as I am now an enemy of the Brotherhood. She's all yours, neighbor. You must be Emogene. Don't tell me. Jack sent you. That's right. I'm here to rescue you. What makes you think I need to be rescued? What, did you ask to be locked in here? No, of course not. I could have left whenever I chose. I was just waiting to see if Thomas would come to his senses. He actually thought it could force me to join his absurd cult. <laughs> Need anything before we go? No. I didn't bring anything worth taking with me. Oh, I'm not going with you. You can tell Mother I'll be along home before too long. I just need a drink first. Alright, let's go. Back to Cabot House. Um, and we're gonna get the the uh, the uh, quest the quest to go into Parsons and deal with the raiders, but we're not gonna do that today. Uh, we're gonna go back to sanctuary after we go back to cabin house and then the next video part 30 will be starting with the parsons quest then we may go over to covenants and uh, do that quest line with nick um hey you uh got a sec oh uh, gotta talk to nick now of course, Nick. What's up? I wouldn't normally bother you with this sort of thing, but, uh, well, I know I can trust you at this point. For as long as I can remember, I've been getting these, uh, flashes. Memories of places I've never been. Things I've never seen. Memories of Nick's. They're not bad. They're just, um, they're just this inescapable snooper mouth. Oh, God, really? Oh, there's rust devils here.
You know what? Let's just go in. We'll talk to Nick in a minute. After we get back to Sanctuary, probably. Modulator. Do you copy? Machine now. How's this? <laughs> oh, that's done it. Edward, what's going on there? We're under attack. They're inside the building. Inside? Can you keep them out of the basement? I'm trying, Jack. I I've never seen raiders that. For God's sake, Sammy. The doorway, right there. Sorry. Things are a little busy around here right now. Listen, if they're inside the building, you have to go to the office and shut down the elevator. You can't risk them getting to Lorenzo. Got it. Office. Elevator. You better round up whoever you can and get them. Hello? Edward? Come in. Edward! Ah. There's no signal at all. I've lost him. What's happening, Jack? If these people are inside Parsons, if they free him... Don't worry, I'll handle it. I always knew it would end this way. I never should have allowed you to lock up Lorenzo in that place. That isn't helping, Mother. And as I recall, using the serum was your idea, <clears throat> not mine. So what are you going to do? I said I'll handle it. I'm thinking. Who are What's you? What's going on? That was Edward. He's at Parsons, the old asylum. They're under attack by raiders. It's strange. The guards have held off raiders before without any trouble. I don't know what's gone wrong this time. I found Amagene. She's fine. Oh, yes, good. Thank God. At least one small comfort on this terrible day. You'll be wanting to be paid, of course. Yep. Edward, Four, uh, 417 caps, please. For currency, isn't that right? Here. I hope that's the right amount. Now, we really need to focus on the current emergency. How can you be so callous about your sister's safety? I wonder if these could be the same raiders that stole that last shipment. If some of them had used the undiluted serum, it could explain their unusual success against Edward's men. Um... I assume you'll explain what you're talking about at some point? Ah, yes, of course. I'll explain on the way. Before we go, I need you to understand something. When we get to Parsons, you need to do exactly what I tell you. Nothing more, nothing less. Is that clear? Sure. Yeah. Got it. Good. Uh, make sure you have whatever you'll need for a serious battle. I'll wait for you outside. Jack, be careful. And try not to hurt him. I love Father at least as much as you do. But you know as well as I do that if he gets free, there will yeah, be we're not doing that. Option. Um Don't let it come to that, please. I'll do my okay. best, Mother. And if Imogene finally comes home, for God's sake, don't let her leave again until I get back. Now I really do have to go. I'm not going to be going with Jack. We're going to we're going to go to Sanctuary first. Um, drop some stuff off. Probably talk to Nick. Um, again, we never did finish that conversation. Have fun, Jack. 
I'll catch up with you later, buddy. Um, yeah, let's see. We are going back to Sanctuary. Let's go. Yeah, I'm going. I'm a going, Jack. I got to put some stuff away. I got too much stuff. Ooh. All right, let's put some stuff away. chance you got it yeah hold on Nick um let's put all the junk first and let's go Not in, let's... a second now hold on Nick yes all right Nick of course maybe yes of course Nick what's up I wouldn't normally bother you with this sort of thing but uh, well I know I can trust you at this point for as long as I can remember, I've been getting these... Uh, Hopefully they won't start shooting at us again. Memories of places I've never been. Things I've never seen. Memories of Nick's. They're not bad. They're just... Um, they're just this inescapable reminder that I'm not the person I think I am. That I'm not a person at all. I'm just a machine pretending to be human. Oh, Nick. You think... You feel you're more than pretending, Nick. Yeah, nice of you to say, but your kind don't usually have to deal with someone else's whole life trapped inside their skulls. Don't get me wrong. I know I'm in Nick's debt. These memories, they've, they've kept me alive. Nick was a hell of a cop. A guy with good instincts and a good heart. I always counted myself lucky they didn't load me up with some ex-con or whatever type might volunteer to let folks tinker with their gray matter. But it's thanks to Nick that I pass for human. Why I get to live cushy in Diamond City, and every other synth is shot on sight. I know I got it good, but... My entire life, I owe to Nick. Everything that makes me who I am. My judgment, my speech, hell, even my name. They're his. And I can't All right. damn thing about From now on, we'll call you Stanley. Without them, I'm nothing. A shell. All I want is a life where I have something I can call my own. You've already built a life for yourself, Nick. You've got the agency, a home, friends. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. You know, I, I'm just going to need some time to think on this. I appreciate you hearing me out. Yeah, you're, you're a real good friend. Thanks. Sure, Nick. All right. Uh. You know, there is this chunk of uh. Nick Valentine history I've been hoping to put a bow on for a while now. I could use a hand if you're willing to take a crack at it. Sure thing. What's the case? Well, this one's straight out of the archives. Once upon a time, in the land of Boston, there lived a king of organized crime, Eddie Winter. Eddie Winter. He was a bad man who did a lot of bad things, hurt a lot of innocent people. But he knew the end was coming, so he sealed himself inside a personal shelter located underneath a sub shop he used as a headquarters. Eddie Winter was from my time real scumbag the story gets even more twisted the arrogant bastard wanted to cheat death live forever so he could come out of that shelter someday into this brave new world sound familiar only eddie didn't want to be a frozen banana no cryo sleep for him no he invested his money in some sick 
crazy radiation experiment. Um. Well, Nick, you can't be saying what I think you're saying. Oh, I'm saying it all right. Eddie Winter went and turned himself into a ghoul. 200 years before it was fashionable. Oh, God damn it. Really? This sh Come on, dance. Alright, you're dying. Alright, buddy. That one hurt a little bit because I kind of liked him. Yes. Uh, that really hurts. You lead, and I'll follow. Well, he was a Sith. Um. Uh. I want his gun. Can't take his gun now. Oh, that hurts. That kind of that would kind of hurt. All right. Oh, that that that. Uh, forgot he was still here. Um. Okay. Let's. Oh yeah, let's talk to. We talked to. Where, where did Nick go? Um. Where the hell did Nick go? Alright, let's talk to Preston. I took care of those super mutants. The settlers were relieved to not have them to worry about anymore. Thank God. Super mutants. Civilians just don't stand a chance against them. As usual, I've got something else for you. I'll mark it on your map. We can use all the support we can get. So, see what you can do to help. All right, whatever. Now, Nick, let's finish our talk, buddy. Hey. There's some... You know, there is this chunk of Nick Valentine history I've been hoping to put a bow on for a while now. I could use a hand if you're willing to take a crack at it. Sure thing. What's the case? Well, this one's straight out of the archives. Once upon a time in the land of Boston, there lived a king of organized crime. Eddie Winter. He was a bad man who did a lot of bad things, hurt a lot of innocent people. But he knew the end was coming, so he sealed himself inside a personal shelter located underneath the sub shop he used as a headquarters. Eddie Winter was from my time. Real scumbag. The story gets even more twisted. The arrogant bastard wanted to cheat death live forever so he could come out of that shelter someday into this brave new world sound familiar only eddie didn't want to be a frozen banana no cryo sleep for him no he invested his money in some sick crazy radiation experiment well nick you can't be saying what i think you're saying oh i'm saying it all right Eddie Winter went and turned himself into a ghoul 200 years before it was fashionable. Hell, he was probably the first one. And I'm convinced that he's still locked inside that shelter. Safe and sound. Ready to come out and begin his evil reign all over again. I'm gonna find him and kill him. So that never happens. You in? Yep. All right, Nick. Let's get the bad guy. Good. Now... I know where Winter's vault is, but the door is sealed with a complex numerical code. Lucky for us, Winter's arrogance knew no bounds. Back in the day, he recorded ten holotapes in yeah. different criminal associates. That's going to take a while to find. Each one, he hit a single number. We find all of those holotapes, we get all the numbers. I can't remember whether, I, bought, the whether I, I modded the holotapes in or not. I've been putting together a file on this one for a while now. There's a pair of holotapes in here worth listening to, including one of Winter's. I 
I managed to snatch from the Cambridge Police Evidence Lock. All right. Well, I guess I only have one. By Feerals. On my way out the door, I spotted an active evidence terminal. I'll bet my hat that terminal is the key to finding the rest of the tapes. Probably worth revisiting any police departments you may have stumbled across. I've been to all of them, Nick. Well, mostly all of them. Okay, we'll do that, Nick. Um, now, go to... Go to Kuchak. Um... Uh, okay, we need to let's go talk to we'll actually do that next time. Alright, let's go out here. Let's call it a day. Um uh, I'll be back again with part thirty one. Uh, a Fallout 4, this is I Suck at Video Games 666. Please subscribe. Uh, if you want. Uh, it's your free choice. I'm not forcing anybody to do it. I'm still going to put out videos. Even if I don't get anybody subscribing. Because I'm having fun doing it. Anyway, have a wonderful day. And I'll be back again soon. Goodbye.